Oh, right. goodness gracious. Now this one I'm fairly certain I can come sit with you for. Is yeah, that... why don't you come on over here and you can we meet go. little All Nellie. Right. This is Nellie the kangaroo. Nellie, what is up? Now you'll notice she's in a bag. She certainly is. And it's a pouch, you know, David. It's a well, it's no, it's, a, it's a it's a pouch simulation, right? <laughs> so she is a kangaroo, and kangaroos are marsupials. Yeah. Um, the opossum was a marsupial too. So both of those animals were born basically as almost embryos. Yes. Little tiny, very underdeveloped, um, you know, fetuses almost, right? So they had no fur. They didn't have back legs. They really didn't have any eyes yet. They were just these little bean-shaped things. And um, with marsupials, which are mammals, they don't have placentas. So for placental mammals, um, you know, dogs, cats, humans, right? We, you know, we grow inside of our mother for nine months and we, you know, get our nutrients yeah. from the placenta. Well, marsupials don't have that. So they kind of develop externally. They're born, again, very premature. And through scent, they find their way into the mother's pouch and they attach themselves to the nipple in there. And then they spend another X number of months, depending on the species, wow. growing and developing. And so she's about six months old. Six months. And that's about the time when they start to kind of want to explore outside of the pouch. So I was going to ask, if that, how, yeah. how do you get so, well, Nelly she, in she, the outside world here? Well, you kind of just do it slowly, right? Yeah. And she's not really quite you know, comfortable out in the real world. She likes to be in the pouch, but you could see she's poking her head out and yeah. she's exploring. But, you know, for a baby kangaroo, um, you know, like they're perfectly happy to just kind of sit and observe Look for a while. Her little yeah, when she gets a little bit older, she'll, um, you know, she'll be able to hop around and, yeah. you know, and, and explore and that kind of thing. But she'll still always want to go back into the pouch, she's right, sweetie? She's always going to want to be in the pouch. <laughs> she's giving you kangaroo yes, kisses? I, I mean, it doesn't get cuter than this, does it? Oh, my Hi, sweetie. gosh. What do you smell? <laughs> Oh, goodness, so, may, I, may I? Yeah, so you can pet her, yeah. She's, um, so yeah, I mean, kangaroos, they're... <laughs> Nelly, we good? Their, their mouths are filled with fangs. No, no they're, they're not. <laughs> they're, they're herbivores, they're grazers. Um, they, I think everybody knows, they, they live in Australia. Yeah. And um, they kind of fill the same ecological niche that um, in other parts of the world deer do. I was talking about this downstairs. Yeah. Some, uh, my buddy Brad works on the show, executive producer here. He was saying, he's been to Australia. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Yeah. And as he was describing them, I was like, oh my gosh, they sound like yeah. a much cooler version of deer. Well, you know, if you think about, um, you know, Australia is very far away from other land masses and, and, and it's essentially a giant island, right? And in yeah. island ecosystems, oftentimes you get um, very unique animals that evolve because they have, they, they don't have a, the predators that are present on the mainland or there's a resource on that island. Um, and so, you know, that's why the life in Australia is so very different than many other parts of the world because they evolved in isolation. But the cool thing is, is that, you know, this, this sort of idea of convergent evolution where oh. animals, <laughs> and I'm getting all sciencey here on you, but no, it's where, fine. where species, I'm focusing. completely unrelated species in completely different parts of the world evolve to take advantage of the same kind of resources. So, you know, even if you look at her face, yeah. there's something slightly deer-like about it. There's something deer-esque, right? yes. And so, um, but yeah, they, they're, they're, they're herbivores, they're, they're grazers, um, so and... Funny. You know, there are no deer in Australia, not native anyway. And so, you huh. know, it's just taking advantage of, of resources. What do you got going she's on back eating, there? She's got your little bungee yeah. over here. She's, she's, she's just kind of getting curious and exploring.